Hey guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Denon 6000 and the Denon 6000 MK2. Uh, this topic seems to come up a lot on the chat boards and stuff, so I thought I'd throw a quick, well, not so quick video about the differences between the two, specifically the microphone channels, and how to set your wireless receiver so that it's not too loud and that it matches a wired microphone. Okay, we've got the Sennheiser receiver set at zero. I just checked it, but it's just flashing just because that's what I selected. And I've got, right now I've got the mic channel at 12 o'clock. And uh, I've got a speaker, I've got this gain on the speaker turned down so we don't get any bad feedback or anything or blow a driver or something. So I've got it set to a moderate level. It turned out so I can get kind of I can speak into it, but if I get real loud, you can get a little bit raspy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the gain all the way up on the mic channel, and you can tell it's real sensitive. But if you get real loud, it kind of distorts. But you would never have this thing at ten, maybe at seven, and you can speak into it. But if you get real loud, it's gonna get that little raspy sound to it. So. But let's, now let's try a wired microphone. Okay, now I've got a Sennheiser E835 wired mic. So it'll focus, it may not focus. E35 wired mic, cheap Poco cable. Okay. Now I've got it set at 12 o'clock, and earlier with the wireless, you know, it, that was pretty good, decent level. Um, but you know, if you got real loud into it, it would distort. Now, see, I've got the wired mic hooked up, and see, you can't really even hear it through the speaker now because the wireless mic set at zero is about 30 dB louder than a regular microphone. So if I turn this all the way up to 10, it's all the way up to 10 right now. I can I can get kind of loud in it. Then if I get too loud, it does get a little bit raspy. One, two. Uh, but no, you know, with it all the way up, I can kind of talk into it and it's not too loud. So I'll, let's turn the gain down on the receiver and get it to match the wired mic. Now, negative 30 is gonna be probably too much. Looks like as low as it goes is 24. I'm thinking this thing's gonna do about six to 12 before it'll match, but we'll give her a shot. One. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. See, it's not, not enough, so 30 dB may not be quite accurate, so let's bump it up a little bit. Let's see, let's go minus six. One, two, one, two, one, two. Good. One, two, three. If you get a little loud in it, it will still be a little bit raspy, but then again, I've got the gain turned down on the uh, speaker, so Normally we would have that up louder. We'd never have this mic channel up to 10. Okay, back to the wired mic. If we get real loud, it will... One, two, three. It breaks up a little bit, but not... It really takes quite a bit of vocals to do that. What we really need to do is play some kind of source at a fixed distance in front of the microphone, uh, like some pink noise or something, to uh, check the level on the meter and see where we're at. Okay, I've got the computer playing some pink noise. Turn my recorder here at negative 27. Flip over to the wireless mic.
see we're still 60B hotter than the wired mics. So let's go back here to the AF out. RS12. got the wireless mic and the wired mic about the same level had to go 12 db down on the mic receiver to get them the same all right so we're going to flip over to the mk2 okay so if you, we last last left off with the level being at negative 18 db from the original 6000 now we have the wireless mic plugged into the MK2 and you know we'd set the master earlier to where the both both mixers were putting the same output level so now let's see what happens when we play the what the pink noise through this microphone hooked up to the MK2 See there, we're at, we're at minus seven on this on the MK2. So there's about 10 dB more gain on its mic channel versus the original 6000. So let's hook up the wired mic and see what the levels look like. Play some pink noise. <laughs> six there so we're only one db difference between the wireless mic and the wired mic so that will help explain if you have your wireless mic set to zero on the 1000 on the 6000 you might be able to get away with it as long as you don't get too loud into it you put it into the mk2 you're definitely going to be distorting okay so earlier we we're talking into the mic, and when I got loud, it would get really raspy. I still have the volume all the way up on MK2, but I have the wired mic hooked up right now, and I can get loud into it, and it will get a little rough, but it won't get that uh, nasty sound. One, two, three. So it, it's not distorting like the original 6000 was. I'm going to flip back over to the wireless. Okay, I have the wireless hooked back up. The level is still all the way up. We got 12 o'clock here. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. I mean, it's a little raspy, like you'd probably expect, but it does not get that nasty breaking up type sound. It's a brief summary. There's about a 10 dB difference between the microphone preamps on the original 6000 and the MK2. So you definitely want to bring your wireless mic down to negative 12 dB to help match the wired mic and you shouldn't have any problems overloading. In fact, this is not overloading, but I'm sure if I put it up on the 0 dB, it would definitely be overloading. Okay, I went and turned the level up on the receiver back up to 0 dB. We're on the MK2. I had to turn it down a little bit because it started getting a little bit of feedback. But let me just want to test and see what it does when you get real loud. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. So there again, at 0 dB, it's, it's uh, a little raspy, but it's not breaking up. So the MK2 definitely has a better mic preamp section. But it is hotter, so you will need to, if you're gonna, you will want to turn it down probably on your receiver. Okay, one little tidbit I want to say on the MK2, it's a little bit more sensitive on if you're using virtual DJ. Because if I play something right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on loop here. But see, I've got Billie Jean playing, and this is what 
the input looks like. Everything on this channel is straight up. We got levels all the way up, straight up. So it's not, you know, according to the controls, it should be fine. But you see this thing is peeking out. So what you want to do is you want to go into the set options. And type in the word zero. And you'll see here it says zero dB default. On the MK2, this setting should be set to minus six. Billy Jean there on the right channel is going nuts. I'm not sure why. Because the, the gain on it on virtual D3 actually shows a slight negative adjustment. So I'm not sure why. But so this is one of those things where one level may be, one song may be louder than another. And so when you're previewing a song, and let's say you're playing the song on the left and it's only peaking out at zero, and then you're getting ready to mix in Billie Jean on this thing, and that thing's hitting plus 10 dB, you're just gonna, you're gonna, your mix is not gonna sound right. So I'm gonna bring the, the gain down on that song to get it kind of matched up. That's pretty close. Let's try the, no, I'm gonna try the microphone again. Uh, okay, I've got the microphone. It's actually turned on and this is all the way down, okay? So there's still a little bit of sound coming out of the speaker. <clears throat> and so with this thing having a hotter input, that's why you have to turn your mic level down on your wireless receiver or you're just gonna, you're gonna turn that button on and you're gonna be live. And you're gonna be like, hey, I'm live 6,000. I turn it down and it's, not on at all well that's because on the 6000 if you notice there on the left it's got the little infinity symbol that means it is off nothing's supposed to come through there this one is set to minus 16 to minus 60. so if you if you have a, a mic level set at zero db all the way down is at negative 16 which may be too loud you may start getting feedback and you gotta remember, I have this receiver right now set to negative 12, and it's still coming through a little bit. So you gotta really watch that. So we got Billie Jean playing. And I can turn this thing all the way up. Because my input level is sitting there at zero. And I flip over on the master. It's hitting zero on the master output. Speaker is doing just fine. It's not showing any limiting, no peaking. So some of you may say, oh, I run this master at 3 o'clock. Okay, well, we're going to turn it up to 3 o'clock. But you see here, we still got this mic all the way down. So let me switch over to the wired mic. Okay, so I've got the wired mic on. And see, it's it's not uh, not quite as loud as the uh, wireless was. So, you know, the wireless could probably go down a little bit. Or we may need a, to adjust the sensitivity on the handheld itself. Uh, so this is... This is uh, a little bit quieter but let's bring this up that's really loud now you guys run this three o'clock to get maximum output i may affect the speaker but anyways i'm gonna turn this mic volume up and it's coming through over the music just fine and we're only at like 11 o'clock here this is coming through you can tell my voice is coming over just fine
it's not peeking out anymore. We got a little bit more room on the liner slider. So we can definitely do that. So there we got the music pumping really loud. And we have this at maximum at 12 o'clock. There you have it. And if you guys think there was something I should have done different, you know, just comment below. We can all, I can always come out and retest. And there may be something that I missed. Anyways, there you have it. The original Denon 6000 versus the MK2 microphone levels.